here I am at this extreme situation in a quick play, hopelessly trapped at this tiny tower. My opponent is rushing inside a building and trying to shoot me through a floor. Meanwhile, I'm just a 3 star noob and I don't have a shotgun, windows to jump out, nor a confidence to face him head on. But then when all the hopes were lost, I heard this. And apparently, all these dogs just came out of nowhere and killed my opponent, just to save me from this dire situation. But then I killed my savior dog. And that made me realize... I'm a monster. I'm just disgusted of myself that I killed the savior dog with no hesitation. But also, I'm just disgusted at this violence and cruelty against animals in this game where people just kill them and torture them just for their own goods. Like what did these animals ever do to you to deserve this? So I swore to never hurt any animals in this game again. And this is my guide on how to be free of animal cruelty in Hunt Showdown. Now before going out there to physically protect animals, you need to first understand that stopping animal cruelty begins even before the game starts. And that's right, it's because your loadout is filled with items that were produced with exploitation of animals. Like Bear's Tooth, whose parts are extracted from an agonizing dental procedure. Hive Bomb which traps wasps in this inhumane, overcrowded jaws. And snake oil, which in actuality doesn't contain any snakes because it's a cheaply made fake product, making it an animal cruelty free alternative to the original Chinese medicine snake oil. But we don't give it a pass because it's on this honest business practice. And look what he's wearing! Come on guys, animal skins and furs are not meant to be human fashions. So make sure to fire all these animal abusers and never hire anyone wearing animal body parts. Like this hunter who stole a skull from a mountain cat. So that mountain cat now has to live without its bones. So make sure to recruit the hunters who doesn't wear furs and leathers so you're 100% sure that he doesn't hurt animals such as this redneck, the proud proprietor of Mordis Paltry. And now that you have rid yourself from animal cruelty products, it is time to go out into the bio to save animals. And the first thing you notice are these poor dogs that are trapped inside these filthy cages. They were in here with no water, no food, and no protection from weather. And some players even burned them alive just so they don't bark at them crying for help. So what a monster! It is your job to free them from this miserable condition. So go out doggies. Go out into the wild. Now next thing you notice in bio are these horses that are clearly wounded and many people outright ignore their suffering and avoid them to maintain stealth. And that is just the most selfish thing you could do guys. What you're supposed to do is tuck them nicely in a bed and treat its wounds. So don't worry horse, I'm going to save you. Throughout this game, you will also notice these domesticated bees that are enslaved by beekeepers and trapped in these tiny boxes. And we view it as a form of animal cruelty. So make sure to free them from this exploitation. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> they always chase me, bro! Fuck off! Now that you have been initiated on rescuing animals, it is finally the time to face the most threatening issue to animal welfare in the bio. Unsustainable overhunting practices. At this time we receive a report saying that there is an illegal hunting going on that is targeting a giant Louisiana spider, which is an endangered species by the way, due to excessive poachings. 
So die, animal abusers. I hope your next prestige reward is a lousy spyglass skin. And here we received another report that poachers are illegally hunting a giant pigman, which is also an endangered species by the way. So die animal abusers, I hope that you have to start with melee weapon on your next quick play. And while you're at it, make sure to save this scrap pig from being tortured by hunters. So die animal abusers. Oops. So die animal abusers. At this point, I think you start to see the pattern. The ultimate form of stopping animal cruelty is to kill all humans who are the leading cause of animal sufferings. So go out there now and kill all other prayers, guys. Kill everyone you see. Do not spare any lives. Just take them all out. But do not shoot at the little Jimmy over there guys, because Jimmy is an animal. I've seen what the animal did to all these poor men. So do not hurt little Jimmy guys. 